Hello, fellow miners, and welcome to another episode from Spice Mines Gaming. Today, I'm going to do a little bit more work on the village, but first, I didn't take the time to kind of show the, the new mending bow for this season. Uh, not that that's anything special to look at, but just to show that I'm working, I'm using a Power 5 Mending Unbreaking 3 Punch 2 bow. And that mobs uh, mob farm that I have down below the house, let me show you some of the productivity it has had for arrows. If I come over here, I've got a yellow shulker box full of arrows. And there we go. It there's plenty of arrows, I think, for this season. <laughs> and I'm going to get more. As I'm doing work around here, more and more arrows are coming in. So let's go ahead and fly over to the village. Oh, 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 oh. Before I do that, uh, let me make a comment on the last remaining um, husbandry achievement. So let me go ahead and go, or sorry, advancement. So let me go to this advancement over here. And that's a balanced diet. And the one thing, I see I've got 35 out of 36 complete. The one thing I need is an enchanted golden apple. Now that's a treasure item, which means you got to find it in a treasure chest. And uh, dungeons are one pla the most notable place to find those. But you can also find those in mesas, in the abandoned mine shafts, and also in deserts, in the uh, desert temples. So if you come over here, into the map room, you'll see there's a pretty good sized mesa up here. So I might need to go up there and just kind of dig around and see if I can find some um, uh, abandoned mine shafts with those minecart chests. And also up here to the northwest, there's two good sized mesas. And I know for a fact, you know, whenever I went to the uh, Woodland Mansion in the previous season, I came across, and on, on video, I stopped and collected stuff out of a couple of um, mineshaft treasure chests in those mesas. So I'll, I may have to go back there and just check that out. But uh, So, yeah, I might do that. I might go see if I can find a, uh, an enchanted golden apple in one of those. And if I do, I will bring it back here and we'll get that achievement. Uh, that's just the last thing I need to get that. But um, anyhow, back to where we are now. I've got a couple of librarians over here that I would like to bring over to the village today, and I would like to build one more building. Now, this build is going to be a little bit different, or I'm going to do this build a little differently than the last one. You know, I, I did the build on camera, and while, you know, I, I see benefit to doing that, but it also takes up a lot more time than I think it should. I could easily just lay out the footprint here and kind of give it a little bit of vertical structure and then jump to the end and then just show off what I built. I'll give that a shot and see how that works on, you know, economizing on uh, video time and cutting on my part because that, that video was tough to cut because there was a lot of cuts to make. But I'm going to build a building right here and it's going to be kind of like a, uh, a blacksmith shop in a sense. And uh, I'm going to use, it's going to be inspired by the blacksmith shops that you find in villages. And so, and I'm going to have the same things in it. Like I'll have an anvil in it, I'll have a furnace, and uh, I'll do some other things in it too. But it's going to be a place where I'm going to work around here. And because I've got, I've got a lot of space to build all around here. And I'm going to need a place to come and like I'll need a crafting bench to craft things. I may need an anvil to repair or combine things, and I may need a furnace to smelt something really quick, you know? Things like that I want here, rather than, you know, having to fly all the way over there to the house to get this stuff taken care of. So I'm going to do that, and then after I get this thing built, uh, I want to do a little bit of work in here. Uh, there's a little bit of interior work that needs to be done. I want to build trade stalls here, and the way I've got it lined out, I can do I think it was, yeah, three trade stalls in front of these windows here. So I can do three, six, nine trade stalls. And in each of these, I want a librarian or an armorsmith. Either one, it doesn't matter, or a farmer. Something with good trades, or a villager with good trades. And I would like them in here so that there's easy access. I can walk in here, and I could say, if I want mending books, I've got a mending villager over there. 
I should be able to come over here and make trade with them and get mending books. And then, for instance, I could have a, a weaponsmith with a really good enchanted sword or a toolsmith with a really good pickaxe trade, you know, things like that, or a silk touch book, just stuff that I would regularly need. And in the event of a catastrophe, like if I fall into lava or I'm more in the end and I fall in the void and lose everything, I'll have a place to come back here to be able to restore and rebuild all of my equipment. And villagers are a really good resource if you've got them. Like, for instance, this guy here, what is he? A toolsmith. So... Well, there's an iron shovel with him breaking two right there. But once I trade with him, he'll have enchanted diamond tools. He may have a silk touch pickaxe. I, I've seen that before. I've seen them where they have unbreaking and efficiency. And uh, I've seen them with fortune. And, you know, you never know what you're going to get. You could get a really good pickaxe out of that guy right there. And you may just need to add a couple of enchantments or a couple of books, which, you know, would be in here. So that's kind of what the the, the main functional purpose of this village is, is is that but also you know just because i want to build a village i really like villages and so i want to build a big village and one other thing if you've noticed i've added a couple of three trees actually not a couple three i added this tree right here and you know, i had a tree over here that i had to i had to take down to make room for this building that i'm going to be building today and so i added a tree right here and it kind of filled in a little bit of a visual gap that was right here. And then right here, in that last episode, I said I was going to put a tree here, and I never did that. So I went ahead and put one right there. And, you know, it wasn't anything that was super exciting. I put a sapling down and put bone meal on it, and that's what popped up. And then right over here, I think he's looking for a llama. <laughs> and right over here, this one right here, I put right here next to the pond. I wanted another tree next to this pond. I mean, this is a really nice pond. I can't wait to work on this and get this thing looking really nice. I have a few ideas of maybe having a little waterfall stream in here and some other, you know, really nice plants and flowers and whatnot. But that'll be maybe next or may, huh. <laughs> maybe next episode or another. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, let's get back to where we are here in this episode. And let me grab my shulker boxes that have the blocks that I want to mark this thing out. And I think this one will work right here. I think I just need some of these. And I'm trying to go off of memory. A dangerous thing to do, by the way. <laughs> I think this thing was 11 deep. So if I start here and I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I could be wrong. It may have been 9. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start here. And I know this one was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then it may have been 7. I need to look at the picture because I have already forgotten. See, there you go. It's dangerous to go off of memory here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think, yeah. Give me a moment to find my picture really quick. I should have had this up. Okay, I was off. Here's where I placed those last two. This is where it should have been. This is the corner post for the porch. And it was one block over, and then one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. And then from there, it's one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it comes back over to, it's along with here, right there. Okay, there's the outline of this. And like with the rest of these here, these posts are going to be three blocks tall, just like this. And this one, I'm going to do something, one thing a little different with the roof structure. And that is, instead of having the beams go 
in between, like this right here, in between the corner posts, this one is going to have beams go along. I think I had one right here too. The beam's gonna come along here and it's gonna extend one block out, kind of like this does. So it's gonna look something like, let's see if I can get this. And then I need to chop that and that. And it's gonna come out like this right here. There, I'll just stop right there. So it's gonna come out like this and this beam is gonna come all the way across and come out here. And then I'm gonna have another one that's gonna be the same way across here, like that. And then I think I did have one go across here and across here, but you won't be able to see it from the front. You'll only be able to see it from the top because I'm doing a, a different roof ledge across here. So let me build this thing and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Give me just a moment and I'll, fill, I'll build this. Well, here it is built. This is going to be the, I guess you call it the blacksmith shop right here. I've got a path going into a back door here. And then this is the main front area here. So you, you can kind of see how it's uh, inspired by a blacksmith shop that you would see in a regular village. It's got kind of the same shape. It's a little bit larger. And I'm going to do it a little bit differently, as you can tell. But this is kind of what it looks like on the outside. And as you can see here, the logs stick out. And the, they're, they're in a different fashion than these, how they stick out in between the posts. These are along with the posts here, or sitting on top of the posts. And then there's the roof ledge I was talking about here, how it comes out. And then over here, this is where I'm going to kind of designate the smelting area for the, um, the blacksmith. And again, it doesn't necessarily mean a blacksmith's going to be in here. It's just kind of how I envision this village. I did stone for the roof just for, I guess there's going to be a lot of heat in this side of the building. I don't know. Just a thought. <laughs> but let's go ahead and come in here. And you can see kind of how this thing's laid out. Over here is where I'm going to do kind of like the shoppy things. Like there'll be an anvil here. I'll put a cauldron over here. And there'll be a furnace over here. Which let's go ahead and place those now while we're here. And uh, let me think. The anvil is going to sit here. Then the cauldron, which I'll eventually get water for, but not right now. We'll go there. And then the furnace comes over here. And then I'm going to put a crafting bench centered in this window here. That's not a crafting bench, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> Let me pick that up. There we go. Crafting bench right there. It's going to go under this window. I'm going to do a little bit of storage here. I'm going to have a couple here, and I'm going to have one right there. And then right here under this table, I'm going to do a kind of like a, a seating area like this just a very basic kind of old school table looking thing you top that off with a pressure plate and voila you have yourself a little table and then over here in the corner this is where I was going to put the bookshelves like that say the blacksmith needs some uh, plans and some notes and all that stuff or leisure reading material, you never know. <laughs> there he is, he's got all his stuff. And I'll store things in here, don't know what, but this is a, just an area that I want to make use of, like for the crafting bench, the furnace, and the anvil, primarily. But that's that, right there. Now, what I need to do is I need to put away some of this stuff here. Oh yes, I forgot one other thing, the area rug. I'm going to put an area rug in here with these carpets. It's going to be a little off-centered from this, but it's kind of centered in this area of the build. So it's centered over here, but it's not over here. But there you go. Add a little color to the to the area here or to the the uh the interior. Not that these don't add enough color, but they just I like having the green carpet. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I like having the green carpet on the kind of the orangish of the uh 
the acacia and then kind of mixed in with the the grays and the sandstone it, it, to my eye it's a good look some may disagree but to me it's a good look now what i need to do i have this building here and i'm going to bring in uh maybe three more villagers just to kind of slowly expand and to get more out of that pen i keep calling it a pen it's a it's a holding facility <laughs> And so I want to go ahead and do that. Get these guys moved over here. There, that'll add a little color and life to that. And, you know, while we're at it, before I bring those guys over here, let's throw in a little bit of bone meal here and there on a couple of areas. I might actually want some right here. Not that. I'll cut that back and that right there. There, I'll just leave that, and then let's see if I can get something right here. Not that. Okay, let's take that out, take that out, and that one. And that one right there. Yeah, I think I'll keep what we've got here. This is fine. Maybe a little bit more here. Let's see if I can get something here. There we go. And you know what? Let's take those away to kind of make it look a little nice there and give us an extra poppy. That's good. Okay. And from here, it does not look terrible. Okay. And is there anywhere else I want to add just a little bit of bone meal here? I don't think so. I want to bring some flowers in here, and I also want to put some flowers here uh, another time. And then here... I don't know if I have enough room for another tree. I don't think... Hmm. I might do something here. I don't know. Maybe uh, I may do a tall flower. Put some uh, coarse dirt here. Uh, maybe a leaf block or two. I may, You know what? I've got an idea. I may do a row of coarse dirt. Do a leaf block, a leaf block, and then do some tall flowers. Yeah, I think I'll do that. While I'm here, I can do this. Let's go ahead and put these back. And I have my coarse dirt in here. And I have my shovel right there. Okay. I was going to do that right here. And I might need to replace that shovel. Or that, sorry, that torch. Let's see. Does not look like it. Wow. Okay. I don't need to replace. Nope. Okay. Now, leaf blocks. I have those in here. Here and here. All right. There. And then I need to go find some tall flowers, like maybe sunflowers or roses or something in here. You know, roses really don't look great with this color scheme but you know it's nothing that says villagers can't like roses so i'll, I'll get some uh, tall flowers for here and i'll get some shorter flowers like tulips or something for right here okay we need villagers so let me get to work and getting a couple more villagers in here and then also i need to dig out some birch logs i need to make a bunch of birch planks, and then I need to make some of these, and then I need some slabs. I think I need 18 slabs. Let's just go with 24, just in case. Need some slabs. I'll need more fences. About out of sticks here. That should be plenty, I believe, in the fences. Trapdoors, planks, slabs. That should be all I need. Uh, what, I'm, what I've got in mind is the trade stalls over here, because I said I was wanting to get those librarians in here. So let me take these up. I don't think I'll be needing these. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and go get some villagers, bring them over here, and then uh, whenever I do that, I'll build one 
of the trade stalls over here, and then I'll get some villagers in here. Okay, so our next villager is going to be a fisherman for the simple fact that he trades string. He has a pretty decent one. On to the next villager. Next is a weaponsmith. He's going to be the next one I'm bringing over. And I still haven't decided the next one I'm going to bring over, but I'm almost ready to bring these librarians over. I decided on another toolsmith here. So this will be the last kind of wandering around villager that I'm going to add here. And so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and go get those librarians and bring them in. And But before I do that, I want to set up some stalls for them. This place might need to be... I forgot to light this place up. I better do that. That would be very unfortunate if these guys got caught and we had some uh, bad guys come through here. Let's make sure that the light levels are just fine here. There's an eight. I don't know if that'll be a problem. Whoop, I hit the wrong buttons. Okay, so where would I need to add a torch? Yeah, I need to put something to get through here. Here, let's do this. Let's go ahead and go. I'll just use up all my sticks for torches. Why not? I'll just kind of do that for now. It won't be in the way. I'll move them whenever I get a chance later. But what I want to do here really quick is I'm trying to think how I did this. Um, I think how I did this is I'm going to have an empty space, this, empty space, this, empty space, this. Then behind each of these... I put that, and then on top of, or on the side, I should say, of these, facing this way, I did this. No, I don't need those. Over there, and then I brought in some of these to go across here. There. Now the villagers can come in here, or I'll put them in here. <laughs> They can't get out, so they're here. And so whenever I need to trade with them, all I do is I come up here and do the trades right here and all is well. Oh, this guy right here. I gave him a name tag. You're fine. Just chill. <laughs> He's the mayor. Remember, he was the first villager. I think he was the first villager we found in this entire series back in... You know, I can't remember what episode number it was back in season one, but it was one of the very early episodes. He was the first villager we found, and so he is a librarian, and he's got a Protection 1 book. He doesn't have great trade, which is why I just kind of went ahead and let him go around here. He's got Riptide and Projectile Protection 4, which is incredibly expensive. And he's got a decent name tag trade, so if anything, there's that, and... He's got a decent glass trade. So he's got two two halfway decent trades. Not that I need those, but you know, you know how it is. <laughs> so what I need to do now, and this is the tricky part, I need to come over here where I want these villagers to go in, and over here is where I've got these rails. I'll, I won't aggravate that guy. But I've got these rails that come through here, and they just stop right here, and then I just let them kind of roll through here. They kind of stop right there, and I push them through, put the fence back so nobody gets out, and then push them off over there, break the cart, and let them run. But what I'm going to have to do here, and this is going to be tricky, but I'm going to have to make a, a way for them to come through here. I actually think I know how to do that. If I take the fences, go up one more row here. I can take this one out. The cart will pass through. They may take a little bit of damage going underneath. But if I'm not mistaken, I've previously done that where they just come right through a fence like that. But anyhow, they're going to come through here and I want to have to run the rail over here. I'm just going to have it come back up on top of these leaf blocks and into these stalls right here. It'll end. And then I'll replace these blocks, break the cart, and then the villager will be in there in the stalls so let me get that cart system set up and let me get these three librarians in here and we'll make a couple of trades and i think that's going to wrap up this episode okay 
Finally. Finally. <laughs> I got these guys in. Anything that could have gone wrong went wrong. And they're still in mine cards for the simple fact that I don't know how it happened. But I got this guy in here. Here's the one with mending. I got him in here. And next thing you know, he's gone. And I was thinking, where'd he go? Well, somehow he got out of there. So I'm going to leave them in the minecarts until I figure it out. I bet it has something to do with this slab up here. I bet if I were to change it to a solid block or just do fencing and gate all around here instead of trying to do something fancy like this, just do the fencing and wherever these tra uh, trap doors are, make those gates. I bet that would fix the problem. Just make it simple like that. But anyhow, I think I might go ahead and do that. Just trade all these out for gates and fencing. And then that way they can't jump over anywhere, and I don't need this up here. And then these guys can't come in here and jump in and whatnot. So it, I think that would just be a much better way of doing this. But this is here for now. They're staying. I got this librarian who's got sharpness 4 for 18 emeralds, and that is a killer, killer deal right there. And I do need to come in here and unlock some of these other trades because there's no telling what else these guys are going to have. This guy's got infinity for seven emeralds, a steel yet again. And then this guy's got mending for 32, which is a little expensive. There's a, a that villager that we found that had it for 27, and you can get it as low as 10, which would be amazing. Maybe one of these guys do. I've got another librarian or two over there. I know I have at least one. So... That's what I'm going to do is kind of create some more stalls here and here so that I can get ready so that whenever I do see a new library with a good trade pop up over here, I'll bring him over here and get going on that. But this episode is taking me about an hour and 45 minutes to record. I was wanting to do some trades, but I have a feeling this may go long. So... I'm going to save the trades for next episode because we still got these guys to trade with, the toolsmiths and the weaponsmiths. There's no telling what they have. They may have good armor, good weapons, good tools. I don't know if I have an armor smith, so... Yeah, weapons and tools, I think. I may have an armor smith. I can't, rem I can't remember. <laughs> Whatever the smiths are, we'll trade with them and see what they've got. And, uh, yeah, we'll come over here. We'll do some trades with the farmers. And that's the fisherman. The farmer is somewhere. Who knows? He's MIA. <laughs> but we'll trade with those guys and get a lot of really good trades. And the cleric, I've got a whole bunch of rotten flesh up in, in storage. So that would be great to get another cleric over here as well. That way I have good rotten flesh trades. I have a string trade. I've got crop trades. I've got that big farm over here that I can build up a whole bunch of crops in a hurry. So I can build up emeralds quickly so that we can trade with these guys, unlock all the trades, and just see what kind of goodies they have. But that's going to have to wait, unfortunately, until the next episode. I was hoping to get it done in this one, but apparently not. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. It's going long for me. I do need to go ahead and wrap this up so I can edit this and get it out. But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this episode, please tap or click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Have yourself a wonderful day. Goodbye.